Everything has been prepared for the Apocalypse spell, Dreadlords. Excellent. We are almost ready to commence the summoning. We had best get this over and done with, Tachondrius. If this spell does have a wide range, we will need to be a long way from here when it sets off. We cannot risk our lives hoping that the humans will not trigger the Apocalypse spell while we make our escape. Araj, are the potions ready yet? They are indeed, Dreadlord. Potions? What potions? Where is mine? You are on your own, Varimathras. We only have a couple of potions at our disposal, and we must save the most important of us. So Araj has preference over me? I see it now. You're getting back at me for what Dalvin Gear did by letting me die, too. We need Araj to summon the portals for the Legion. Besides, you agreed to this when we came into Azeroth. I only recall agreeing to the fact that I may die by the hands of the mortals. You never said anything about committing suicide. Enough already. If the potions mean that much to you, Dreadlord, then you can have mine. Wait, Araj, what are you doing? Too late, Tychondrius. I will be taking the potion. Hold it, Varimathras. You must take the Tome of Medivh. For what reason? By taking the potion, you have sealed Araj's fate. The least you can do is carry the Tome in his place. Fine, but I will not forget this treason, Tychondrius. What were you thinking, Araj? I was wrong, Dreadlord. The spell protecting Medivh's book was more complex than I thought. Spell? We do not have time to waste. The humans will arrive at any moment. Explain yourself. The spell can kill any type of demon. Since I was resurrected as a lich with demon's blood, the tome reacts as if I am a threat and is slowly draining my powers. I fear that I only have few hours left to live. That will still be enough time. We shall proceed with the summoning as planned. Our reinforcements are ready and awaiting your orders, Lord Garethos. Excellent. Everything is going as planned. I sense that the undead are plotting something against us. We're all gonna die! Silence, old man. No one asked for your opinion. Well, we have left them for quite some time. Just in case, sir, we should head off and kill the Dreadlords as soon as possible. Are you kidding? This is the height of my career and you want me to just get it over and done with? As long as I'm in command, we are going to enjoy this victory as long as possible. Where have you been? Watching over the Scourge. Is there a problem, Tychondrius? When I order you to stand your ground, I expect you to. Sorry to interrupt, Masters, but the Cult has assembled to help aid you against the humans. Using the energies from a power obelisk, we are enchanting a spell that will allow our towers to become immune to attack. Access to the obelisk's magical energies will also allow us to devise new defense towers. Unfortunately, it will take some time to test these new towers before allowing them to be summoned. You have done well, Acolyte. These invulnerable towers will prove to be quite useful. You do realize that even with the combined forces of the Scourge and the Towers, we cannot hold out forever? Of course not. We only need to distract the humans long enough for Araj to finish summoning the Apocalypse spell. If all goes well, they will be doomed. a new type of tower.
mitochondries. More human reinforcements have arrived. They are making their way through one of the city's side entrances. That path will take them straight to the power obelisk. We must defend the Acolytes at all costs. Masters, our new lightning towers are sure to make short work of the humans. towers are making our men drop like flies. Get the mercenaries. I'm not gonna let a few measly towers cost us the battle. Enforcements have entered the city, Tychondrius. This evil. Undead warriors, take me! Fulfilled my destiny. Masters, the energies from the power obelisk have been depleted. 
Our spell can no longer protect the towers and can now be destroyed by the humans. did this person. Observations, Varimathras. We have to trigger the spell before. There they are, men. Surround them. So this was what you were protecting. A demonic looking eye. What are you waiting for then? Destroy the eye. Alright, I will. Wait a second. Something doesn't feel right. There you are, Captain. Finally, we have ended the reign of these blasted undead. So, Dreadlords, you thought you could defeat the superior forces of the Alliance? How does it feel to be in the presence of the Almighty Lord Garethos? I do not know who you are, human. But your arrogance does not impress me at all. Silence, Dreadlord. You won't be feeling so confident once you have a million swords piercing through you. Shall I give the orders of execution then, sir? Not quite yet. We need to attend to some unfinished business first. Captain, destroy this weird-looking eye thing. No, sir. Just looking at that thing gives me the shivers. Excuse me? I'm the one in charge here, not you. I give the orders and you follow them. Now carry out your orders, Captain. Never. You don't get it, do you? Whatever the Dreadlords have summoned is evil, and therefore must be destroyed. If you're not going to destroy the eye, then I will. Wait, Lord Garethos? What the? We have to get out of here. Get back here, Captain. That's an order. It's all your fault, wretched dreadlords! Quick, Barry Mathras. Take the potion. So long, dreadlord. It has been a great privilege to serve you. So long, Haraj. This place is falling apart. These potions of yours had better keep us alive. 